Um, hello, Mr. Patrick Peter. Can you tell us a bit, well, you're doing and organizing events for since the 1980s, if I'm not uh, wrong, um, uh, an impeccable uh, record of, of, of what some of the most important motor racing events. Um, what's the importance of this particular event, Estoril Classics, in 2020 for you and for Peter Otto? Well, it's the first time in Estoril since a very long time. We visited Estoril probably 10 years ago, something like that. And um, we had good discuss with the uh, guy and tourism. And uh, it was important this year because it was supposed to be the final. And in fact, it is the final, but uh, the final with a difficult, very difficult season, you can imagine, because we cancelled many events, etc. But uh, all the drivers are very happy because uh, the, the race track is fantastic. Uh, and uh, the a very good uh, relationship between the Portuguese uh, and uh, and all the drivers and everybody is very happy. Now they want to come back next next year in better condition, not better condition from Portugal, but better condition with the Covid etc. which is impossible this year. Uh, I had several drivers saying to me that this was actually the first race of the year for some of them. So, and they were particularly happy because they had the opportunity to take the cars out of the garage to go to the track. Um, and there's been also some very good racing, particularly yesterday with uh, the Cobras uh, until the last moment in a two-hour race. Um, what can you promise us for next year? Uh, I can imagine, I can imagine because I have to stay very prudent. But uh, normally, normally uh, we have the double of car. This normally was supposed to arrive with 250 car. And uh, unfortunately with the problem with the, from the Swiss driver, from the uh, British driver, etc. We lose a lot of car and a lot of driver uh, very on, on the last moment. But. Uh, the idea is to come back with uh, probably eight different grid and uh, 250 cars with a uh, with big program with uh, normally a minimum 30 cars in each grid. Uh, of course, big battle, etc., which is impossible when you don't have in-house cars. But we, we, we need to be happy because uh, we cancelled many races this year and for everybody, for the driver, for the team, you know, the team work just for the driver, etc. And if there is no race, uh, they have no works, and it's important to organize. Uh, everybody is happy. Thank you. We are certainly very happy to see you here and your group and your organization here with us. Uh, one last question. Duarte Nobregad has told us that he sees this event as potentially one of the best, most important events of the year. Is that really possible? Uh, we will do the best for that. We will do the maximum for that. We will do the maximum for that. Uh, you know, we have a date for next year. We have a date for 22, etc. It's very important to come back on the same period, etc. It's important for the driver, but I think it's important also for the public, because uh, the public take habitude to come back, etc. Et of course, not this year, but uh, we want to 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 attract the same public every year, and we we we, we wish. Uh, more and more people every year. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, Patrick Peter, uh, the responsible of uh, Peter Otto, uh, just uh, telling us a bit uh, about uh, about what ha what happened this year and what will happen next year.